two days after flooding struck the small town of Amazonia, work to restore homes and lives in the area is underway. It's been a busy day. Volunteers with the American Red Cross spent the day surveying damage and helping affected residents try to get back on their feet. Some of them have just lost everything and they've you know, got several inches or feet of water in their homes and they just don't know what to do next. As the cleanup effort gets underway, the extent of the damage is becoming more clear. Residents starting to take charge of the recovery process themselves, reviving a community improvement initiative. We thought that it would be a great thing to bring back. The co-chair of the Amazonia Betterment Committee said her idea to start it couldn't have come at a better time. We had a long list of things to do on our list to make Amazonia get some light into the community, bring the community together and then the flood happens. Her group also offering cleaning supplies as well as a hearty meal to those in need. What really impresses me is the way communities come together and help each other. Like today, you know, I've seen, you know, several people bring in donations to just give to whoever needs them. It's heartwarming to me to see communities come together when there's such, uh, such a need. These residents say that sense of togetherness all too important in times like these. I think it's important for small towns especially to bond together and be a whole community and support one another. Um, for me, it's awesome to watch people come in here and get a free meal when they haven't had a stove or a fridge or anything and just feel like there's a sense of normalcy in their life again. And residents still in need of assistance are asked to contact the American Red Cross. They do plan to be in the area as long as they're needed.